my name's John, welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Before we get started, I wanted to mention a little bit about the giveaway, the prize draw I do. If you watched last week, you would say that he decided to scrap the bucket full of names and start again. Up until now, I've had 545 names, I think, that have come in. Now, everybody that sent their name in should have had an email to acknowledge their name is here. If you haven't had an email, it means I've missed it, so send it again. Because I acknowledge the emails, then I put all the names into a file, and then you wait for us to and write them all out and draw them out of a bucket uh, every week. People have suggested using an electronic method. I think the old fashioned method of poking me hand in or somebody's dog or the daughter is much better and much more personal than just pressing a random button. In this week's nightcap, I finish off those pins I started the machine last week and I finally get the lathe cutting nice and true now because the tailstock is in line and I'm not going to move it again. I'm going to make something so I can offset the tailstock or offset the centre for any future tape or turning. I started repair on a, a tractor levelling device, a levelling box off the back of a tractor. Uh, there's some screw cutting, welding, there's all kinds to do. That's going to be quite an interesting little project. I'm going to put a little bit more underground stuff in at the end of part two. Uh, last week's was I had a good response, people were really interested. I think this week's going to be more like an actual cave, like a sporting caving trip. Uh, once again, it's probably 15, 16, 17 years ago, so I'm a lot slimmer and a lot fitter. That'll be a little bit of plasma cutting in. Uh, I cut some 5mm and some 10mm plate. A gentleman will come up with some of his own drones and I cut some brake back plates for an old Alvis vehicle which is restoring uh, all interesting stuff. In last week's video I made a sort of these pins and I used this pin as a gauge to make sure that the tail stuck on the lathe was running true. It's been in here for a couple of days now, I've not touched it so things have cooled down. So I'm going to have another accurate measure. It's within, it's less than half a thou. Right, we need to cut these to length, the length 130 mil. Put 132, 133, and we can face the end and put a nice shampoo on it. You must have measured that wrong body lad. No, no, you're yeah, right. That was a, a, re a really, really good guesstimate. A really good guesstimate. We'll leave a little bit on and then we've got the size to, to go back onto. That will just make a little bit more. That gives it a little bit to play with. Using the, the tear stuck off the part it off and don't want it up. A bit of black sticky stuff. I'm not sure what this material is, but it certainly does machine nice. Very nice indeed.
tacky cut and that now so I trim it to go down to full size in one cut it really is cute material Taking the face out of shape quite nicely. Blood breaking the chips quite as well. Is that what it's like? A little bit faster feed rate, and that's an instant result of the chips there. Great and lovely. So that's all I've done there to make it go from not breaking chips to breaking chips. It's feed rate. We'll pull it back to where it was. Nasty long spirally things. The white background is just to stop the camera all the focusing on the chips on the layers bed. I never want to focus on what you want them to. I've got them all cut to length, I just want to finish the ends off. The first thing we'll do is put a little shampoo on one end. That's the end that's got the centre drill hole in it. Next thing I need to do is get them to, I'll get this one to the correct length. Easy, quick way to do it is measure the original one, which is 130mm. In fact, it's just under 130mm, 129mm, 130mm. So if I click origin on the caliper, that will zero it. So now if we measure this one, we'll get a direct reading of how much we've got to take of it. Point four five of a mil, I don't know if you can see that or not. So half a mil off there, that would make it the right length. So touch it off. Dialing 0.45 on your PRO, which is there. That should be to length. I'm going to put another centre in this end. It's handy in case the pin snaps off in the hole and you've got to drill it. You've always got something to start to drill on. It doesn't take much doing. That would take seconds. Put the shrimp on the end, and that's what we do. We need to drill the holes in the end of the pins now. That's six holes to drill, so it's worth setting up a little jig just to drill them with. Put a big block on there like that. Nip that up, and that's going to hold the piece of bar nicely, level, and quite firmly. Get the holes so the holes are line up and down as well as you can get them. That looks good. We need to find the centre of the hole 
Well, that will use this little device. Use that device and also our eyes. Right, I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. They don't need to stop that pin from wobbling by simply pushing it with that. You don't use your fingers because you will end up hurting yourself quite badly. That's when you will be true. What we need to do now is make sure we can get it down into that hole. And that looks pretty good at that. Right, so that's the position each hole wants to be in. Now we need to put a stop on here so each one can just be moved in position and drilled. This is one of the first tools I made when I got the, the milling machine. I simply screw into there. And the shoulder. It's all fully adjustable. I don't care to fit into there. We'll lock that one up. Lock that one up, then that means it's a simple case. You remove that, insert the one you want drilling up against the stop, tighten the vase up, and that's got to be in the right place. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. I bought some cheap drills off. Come with tools or I think it was six pounds for a, a full set. We'll give them a try and see what they like. This should drill without the centre, without a pilot mark, which we'll find out. It's a three mil hole. Black sticky stuff. Drill run reasonably fast. So the six pound set of drills are pretty good. Keep them in line, and at least it looks like somebody cares a little bit. I actually broke into the centre drill over there. If that drill was going to break, this is where it will break. Survive. Survive that, it'll survive anything. It's a case of devagging the hole now. I see it makes it look like somebody cares and stops it cutting your finger on a nasty little rag on a little three mil hole. Better. Right, so that's the three pins done. All more or less the same size, with the holes all in the same places. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what sort of material that is. I mean, this is not a safety critical application where the machine's beautiful. I wish I could get some more of it, especially for free.